jazz blues fans all over the world, Sandra Sherman here, greetings from Austria. Today I'll be teaching you one of the best known jazz blues standards, Tenor Madness by Sonny Rollins. I'll teach you the melody and the one chorus of solo. The level is intermediate, but I'll show you everything slowly and in detail. Speaking of slowly, I have a slow tempo version towards the end of the lesson. I also made taps and backing tracks in various tempos, which you can download from the description box down below. All right, let the madness begin. Okay, let's dig right in. Here is phrase one and I'll play through it quickly so you can hear what it sounds like. Then I break everything down for you slow and easy and at the end I play it slowly again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> have a 12 bar blues in B flat here, regular 12 bar blues, and we start with a B flat 7, which is on the 6th of the E, 6th of the D, and the 7th of the G. Make sure to mute the A string and the upper two strings by touching them ever so slightly. Okay, you could use hybrid picking, but I strum through the picks, uh, through the strings with my pick, and uh, that's why it's important to mute the other strings. Then I go to the 8th of the D string, the 5th of the D and the 8th. That's our motif, one bar motif. Make sure to release the pressure of your left hand's finger after the first um, strum. It's short. Second one, two, and those are longer. Now we have that, we apply that same motif to the E flat 7 chord. This is on the 6th uh, of the A, the 5th of the D, and the 6th of the G strings. Mute all the other strings. You uh, play it once, and then you go back to our motif. 8th of the D, 5D, 8D. Okay, so first with the B flat, now E flat. And it all starts on count number four and three, four, and, 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 and. And now we have a two bar motif on B flat. So we had two one bar motifs and now one longer two bar motif. And that's the way this uh, entire thing is constructed. Okay, we're back to the B flat seven, six, six, seven. And we start, the first bar is the same as the other motifs. But now it goes to the 5th of the G, back to the 8th of D, 5th of D, 8th of D, 5th of G, 8th of D. It's long, I know. And the last one is another one of the 8th, but I also play the 5th of the A, because it gives it a more chordal sound. Okay, here, is it, here it is in slow tempo. 3, 4... time. Three, four. All right, 
right on those first four bars. Three, four. All right, so it's uh, one bar, one bar, two bar motif. And now we repeat that thing on the E flat. We're on the fourth degree of the scale now, E flat, six, five, six. And we have our one bar motif. You already know that, same as before. Now we're going to E diminished. That's the seventh of the A, the eighth of the D, and the sixth of the G. I also fret the 8 of the B because that's the full E flat diminished chord, but I don't play it. I just play with my right hand up until the G string. Okay? And that motif is the same again. 8 of the D, which I, is already laying here, back to 5th, back to 8. So from E flat, 3, 4. E diminished. And now it's for that two bar motif on B flat again. B flat seven, six, six, seven. Exactly the same we had before. All right, and here's the entire phrase at slow tempo for you. One, two, three, four. And here are the last bars of our head, which is the melody. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We start on the C minor. We are now on the cadence C, uh, two, five, one. C minor, F7 to B flat seven. Here's the C minor. Uh, the melody actually is just one single note, but I prefer a chord here. If you don't want that, then just play the upper, the higher of the two notes, okay? That's the original melody. And I put a chord in here, or a diet. I start on the A string, 6th fret, and I add the 5th uh, of the G string. Then I go down with my index to the 5th of the D. Starts on four and again, three, four, and, and. Now I use hybrid picking. You could strum it, but then you have to mute really well. I like to uh, uh, hybrid pick this. Then I slide from the fifth of the G to the fourth of the G. And now I'll go backwards a augmented arpeggio. This is really awesome. 5th of D, 6th of A, and the 3rd of uh, the A string. That's a C, oh, sorry, not a C, that's, that's an E flat augmented. All right. And now it's for the F7 chord. Original melody would be, and I add to the original melody um, a bass note. So I have the 5th on A and the 8th of D. Then I bar over, I bridge over to the 5th of the D string. 6th of D and then the 7th of D along with the 8th uh, of A. Actually I played with my middle finger. I go over with my middle finger and the ring finger. That's an F chord. Okay, from C minor. Now it's back to that long B flat phrase. But the ending is a little different. So B flat 7. That's six, six, seven, eight, five, eight, five G, 
and A D and I'll stop here. Remember the original long phrase was do 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 and now it's just do 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 and those last three ones we play in chords or I played in chords and you can too if you want to. That's a C minor eight of E and the eight of the D string. Then for the F seven. I used uh, the 6th of the A string and the 5th of the G string. And for the B flat 7 chord, I play the 5th of the A and the 8th of the uh, D. So we have. It's a little tricky. The uh, if you just want to play the melody without bass, it's just A, D, 5, G, and A, D. That's with the uh, diets. So that last phrase, uh, that last chord. One more time. And here's the entire phrase at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Congrats, you made it to the solo. Here we are, and this is phrase number three, the first couple bars of the solo. One, two, three, four, one. All right, we start out really bluesy. The jazz lines come a little later in the solo, but you have to establish that blues first, even in a jazz blues. Um, I'm here noodling around in the B flat minor pentatonic with some additional tones. I start on the sixth of the uh, G string and I hammer to the seventh. Then I'm on the sixth of the uh, B, the ninth of the B, and then I slide to the sixth of the E. All right, that's a quick slide. One and we start on one and one and triple let two. Then I go back. That's that's an arpeggio, and I go back now. Nine of B, six of B, seven of G, and I pull off to the sixth. The same way I ascended, I'm not descending. One, two, and four, and one, and this is the point where we move to the E flat seven. See, I land on a chord tone. Then the line continues to the 8th of the D, the 5th of the D, and now I postpone play a, an E flat 7 chord. 6 of A, 5, 6. We know this already. First line. And now we have a classic B flat blues line. I go to the blue note. One. I go from 8 of G to 9th of G by sliding. One and then I have a rest again. The rhythm here is a little tricky. Go back to 8, 8 of D, 6 and 6 of G and B. That's a double stop and I have a smear bend. That's like a quarter note, okay? Not to the next uh, pitch, not to the next semitone, but somewhere in between, just slight bend towards the floor. And then 8 of G and 8 of D. One and And 
and here's the entire phrase number uh, three at slow tempo. One, two, three, four, one. And here's phrase number four. One, two, three. All right, we start on the E flat. Actually, we move to the E before that. E9 chord, that is. That's the uh, seventh of the A, six of the seven, seven of GMP. We slide from one below. And then we go to that sixth uh, fret. That's the E flat nine now. So it's E nine, E flat nine. All right. And now on that E flat, we have a muted line. Oh, sorry. I play on my B flat minor pentatonic, nothing else. Six of E, and I'm mute with my right palm like rock guitar, then a ninth, then the uh, sixth of the A string, the seventh, which is the blue note, then I go back to the sixth of the E and I open my I, I I don't mute anymore, it's an open sound, now six and nine. we have that E diminished and I keep that rhythm figure that uh, motif that rhythmic motif but I play have to play different notes of course I play an E diminished arpeggio now I start from the chord tone the B flat that's the uh, what is it eight of D sixth of G ninth of uh, G that's a E flat diminished eight of B we start uh, an eight later, one and then we jump back. We skip a string back to the eighth of D, the begin the the initial note, and the last note is the sixth of the G. We have a hammer in the beginning. Sorry, seventh of uh, seventh of uh, D to the eighth of uh, D. One and triple that, triple that, same motif. All right. Now it's back to the B flat seven, and I play a plas uh, classic blues lick again. Okay, I have my double stop here on the 6th of G and the 6th of B, and I hammer to the 7th of G. Then I go to the 8 and 8 of the G and B strings. I, I bridge that also, I bar that. And then I go back to 6-6 six, six of G and B, and now I have a trillo, which is a combination of hammering to the 7th, in this case, of the G, like before, and pulling off again, right? Then the eight of D, the sixth of D, and then I have a passing note, the seventh, and then it's the eighth again. So this bar, B flat, three, four. Note how that trilla is really quick, really fast. So one. Then I slide. Now we're on the G7. This is the third of the G7. Um, nine. I slide. Then a nine of the B. Skip one string. Eight of the B. Tenth of the G. Eighth of the G. 
Then I have a pull up from the ninth to the eighth of the D string. And the last note is the eleventh of the A string. This first note though, when played with the previous bar, is a slide. And here's the entire phrase number four at slow tempo. One, two, three. And here's that last phrase for the solo, it's phrase number five. One, two, three, four. Alrighty, now it's jazzy. We start, um, we had that G altered chord before. Re, uh, it resolves to the C minor and I jump from my pinky to the index finger because here is a C Dorian scale that I play now and it is it's a little fast there's a couple of 16 notes in here I start with the tenth of the A that's an eighth note and then I have a couple of uh, 16 the tenth of the uh, D twelfth of D and 13th. Next string, 10 and 12. Then 11 of the B string and 10th of the E string. That's an E flat major chord which uh, fits perfectly over a C minor chord. And that's it with the 16th. Now we're switching back to 8 notes, getting slower again. I play the uh, 13th, the 12th, and the tenth again because I chromatically embellish that eleven tone that is gonna be in the next in the next bar we're gonna have that E flat which is the seventh of the F7 so we're gonna start with this and now I chromatically embellish this all right one more time one and, and and now I hammer on to that E flat. We're on F7 now. Here is that chord. And I play a Charlie Parker line from um, uh, Donna Lee. He used it. That's 11. We're F altered scale. 11 of E, 11 of G. 12th of G, back to the E string, 10 slides to 9. Then I bar my middle finger over to, yeah, to 10 of B and 10 of G. And the last one is the 13th of the E string. And this one resolves to B flat, and that's the third of B flat is uh, the twelfth of the D string, and the eleventh of the uh, B string. All right, from C minor, F seven. I actually slide it. All right, so that was 12 of D and 11 of B. Then there's a rest. We're on B flat now. We have that turnaround now. B flat, half a bar, G7, half a bar, C minor, half a bar, F7, half a bar. Rest. Now I have a little embellishment. That's from uh, 9 to 11 of the B string and back. That's a triller again hammer-pull combination and now we have a G altered and 
and I go down chromatically from G, that's the 8 of the uh, B string, then 11 of G, 10 of G, 9 of G, and 8 of G. And I, I pull off that last one. Alright, from B flat. G. And this one already is the C minor chord. That's the third of the C minor chord. Okay, so we had this pull off. And then we continue with our chromatic. We go on the uh, D string, 10, 9, 8. That's for C minor. And that slides down to the third of F7. See, I'm targeting the chord tones. And that's the seventh of the D string. I play an arpeggio, 10 of D. 8 of G, that's a, G, a F7 arpeggio. And the last note is the 7th of the G. And this is actually, we're back to the melody now. This is the first note of the melody already, so I included that note into the last, as the last note of the solo. All right. Here is that slow tempo, that last phrase, and we are at phrase number five, I think, yes. One, two, three, four. Next up is the entire solo at slow tempo. As for that last head, it's absolutely identical to the first head, so I'm not going to repeat it here again, but just make sure that that last note is played really short, really staccato. Uh, we have that last phrase. And that's really short. And that's all there is to it. Okay, let's hear the entire song next in, at slow tempo. Thanks for watching my Jazz Blues tutorial on Tenor Madness. 
I hope you liked it and I was able to teach you something new and interesting. I see you next time. Servus, baba.